and Claymore. Somebody had asked me if I should review if if I could review Claymore or talk about it, and I gotta say Claymore started off with so much potential, and it just flushed it down the toilet. Claymore is a shit anime. It looks really, really pretty. It's a very pretty anime, and it has really, really good music. The story's stupid, the characters piss me off, and the action is so cliche. Starts off with all these monsters, and you're into it. Okay, a Yoma. And, and oh, they're different kinds of Yoma, and they have different abilities and powers. Okay, that's cool. And then it starts going a little bit berserk. It, it felt like Inuyasha at one point with all the weird places these monsters go. When they get more powerful, they totally cease to be anything Yoma-like. Like, I watched this entire fucking thing all the way to the end, and it was just pissing me off the whole time because you had all these different names for these creatures, these different rankings, the different power levels, and it got very DBZ. If I wanted to watch DBZ, I'd watch DBZ. I don't need to see people ranking up and powering up and blue auras and all this crap when I'm watching. I just wanted to see really awesome uh, Amazonian warriors fighting demons and shit like that. And that's, it just it fell apart near the end. It pissed me off so bad. But literally the monsters have no basis. They were all over the place. One of them looked like the swamp thing. There was another one that would like pull rebar out of him and like launch stuff out of his mouth and he like held his fingers up and launched stuff out. I was like, what the fuck is this? Why is he different than every other creature I've ever seen so far? And there was another one that uh, didn't even look like a monster. It looked like a lion. Uh, it was this. It was the silver-eyed lion king Rigaldo. That's a long name. But he he didn't look anything like the monsters. The Yoma, the monsters, if I could describe them to you, imagine a really big, muscular, vampirous looking creature. It has huge fangs. It's bald. But it has little pointy ears. It's really big, really muscular. And it eats people. Okay? Sometimes they're green. Sometimes they're gray. It eats people. Now imagine that. And then imagine a dude who looks like Wolfman. But he's a lion. Really pretty. But he's a lion. How did this become this? And their excuse is, oh well they're the most powerful ones ever. Why do they have no basis on the other creatures? They look nothing like the original creatures. And near the end, it got really flippity shitty with all the power levels and... She wasn't fully awakened? Fuck you, anime. My goodness. It got super cliche. It had, it had a lot of information. And when it started getting really good in the middle... If you want to watch some of this, you need to watch the episodes with Teresa of the Faint Smile. Because she was cool. And the second I started liking her, they killed her. Spoiler alert. Pissed me off. And it made no sense, too, with the Claymores, the Warriors. They were all over the place, too, with their different powers. Like, the main character, Claire, has jack shit for powers. She just happens to be the shittiest one out of all of them that turns out to be the strongest one in the end. But there was one, uh, uh, Helen or something who could stretch her limbs, okay? There was another one who could regenerate. She literally gets her whole arm chopped off and regenerates the whole thing in a matter of uh, minutes. There was one that could swing her sword so fast that you couldn't even see it. It didn't even look like she was doing anything. There was another one that could... Uh, there was uh, one that could... What was it? She could control your aura. She could control you. So, like, tweak your attacks. Like, if you go to hit her in the face, she'd tweak it and your fist would go right past her. Consistency. I, I, we don't, we're not talking about magic powers. Why not just make them super strong and have them fight the monsters? Don't give them stupid little dickhead powers, okay? I don't want to watch Naruto or Bleach. I hate those anime. I hate Naruto and Bleach. A lot. But... Claymore is passable. If you absolutely want to watch it, go ahead. But I'm telling you right now, it pissed me off. I have a lot of good anime on this shelf over here. I've got Noeen. I've got Helsing. I've got Samurai Champloo. I've got Ergo Proxy. Cowboy Yebop. Wolf's Reign. Fully Gully. I've got a lot of good anime, and I think I know a thing or two about anime. I've got Afro Samurai. This anime right here, you should avoid it. If you want to watch a good anime, you should watch Moribito.
or summer wars when it doesn't freeze up on you. I, I just, I did not like Claymore. And I was hoping for it, too, because it started off pretty cool. I mean, the monsters were genuinely scary. But it just got way too DBZ in the end, or Inuyasha, if you will. I like Inuyasha. I like it. Inuyasha has its explanations for everything. Oh, they're demons. They're, they're not any specific thing, unless it says, oh, this is a wolf demon, or a dog demon, or, you know, other kind of demon. A water demon. It, it has its own things. Like, Naraku can create whatever the frick he wants. I remember the man with no face. That was cool. That that had its own explanation. It's Naraku. He makes weird creatures out of himself. And, and this just didn't have any of that. I can understand more powerful Yoma. I can understand more powerful Yoma. But when they totally branch out into all kinds of weird, different genres of creature that make no sense whatsoever, it drives me crazy. There was a one Yoma, like one of the really powerful ones, way up into the DBZ levels, that could control you. It literally, when a, a group of Claymore attacked it, it, it made everyone else fall to their knees and was controlling one, trying to cut all their heads off. Can't they just be really powerful and fight do I have to deal with this crap where it's like, you got to get away from me, I can't control myself, no, get away. We can't do anything, we're down here on the ground. It was annoying. One more thing. The fluctuation with these Yoma, these powerful, powerful monsters pissed me off. Because they spend about two episodes trying to kill one. Really big, powerful dude with the rebar. That's all I can say it is. It looked like metal bolts coming out of his body. They spent about two episodes trying to just keep this guy from killing them. And then next thing you know, later in the anime, they're fighting about 40 of them. And they get slaughtered pretty good. But then you think after trying to hit him and his skin being so thick you can't even cut through it, and then I see about two or three of them slice one to pieces in a matter of seconds. Stay consistent with the power of your enemies. Oh, this monster over here is super powerful. You're going to spend about two episodes on him. But those 40 over there are total pusses. Go at it. I don't like that in my anime, and I don't like when it cuts off before the the series cut off before any of the really cool shit even happened. I mean, Claire fought the big baddie that she had become a warrior to kill, and doesn't even kill her in the end. She stops. She's about to flip her shit and become a monster herself. But that's what I've been watching the whole series for. If she can turn back into a human afterwards, if she is capable of that, why not just let her go monster and kill the shit? They didn't even have the Silver King. They, they build up this powerful dude in the north called the Silver King, easily. And, and he's, he's in human form. He looks like a human and they never fight him. Fuck this anime. I'm just bitching right now. I do not like this anime. If you want to look up Claymore, go ahead and watch it. But I, I give it a thumb down. No, it was pretty and the music was bitching. But when you get past the Teresa episodes, that whole anime goes downhill. All of it. If you want to watch it, I'd say watch up until the point where Teresa gets her head cut off. Turn it off. Don't watch any more of it. Because it's so not worth it. I stayed up till 2.30. Because I thought there was something at the end of this. It's going to be good. It's going to it's gonna come back. It never did. It tried to do way too much. It tried too much to be action. It tried too much to be horror. DBZ. Romance. Fail. I do not like this anime. For those of you who do, good. Maybe I'm just a different type of fan. But... This anime pissed me off.